the promise of I will. Napakaganda po ang pangako ng Diyos dito po sa bagong covenant, I will, says the Lord. In Hebrew chapter 8 verse 10 hanggang 12, This is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. At ito po yung kanya pong pangako, I will put my laws in their mind and write them on their hearts. So it is the Lord who put His laws in our mind and in our hearts. At ang sabi niya, I will be their God and they shall be my people. None of them shall teach his neighbor and none his brother saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me. All shall know me from the least of them to the greatest of them. For I will be merciful, again in verse 12, I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds. I will remember no more. Wow, glory to God. This is the promise of I will. And this is the, co the new covenant. The new covenant that we are in, it's all about God's promises of I will. He will do it for you. He will do it for me. He will do it to everyone believing Him and submitting His life unto Him. We are no longer under the old covenant, my friend. We are now under the new covenant. Can you shout it out? Or can you say it? Can you write it down? I am no longer under the old covenant. I am now under the new covenant. Yes. At ano po ang ibig sabihin na ikaw ay nasa bagong tipan o new covenant? If you are in this new covenant, you are in the promise of God that I will. Siya ang gagawa. Doon po sa lumang tipan, it's all about you working for God. It's all about you obeying what the Lord has uh, commanded for you to receive the blessing, the acceptance, the the promotion of the Lord, you know? Lahat po ng makikita po ninyo doon ang sa lumang tipan, the condition is you have to do it your own and the Lord will bless you. So that is the old covenant. Kaya lang ang totoo po niyan, biyaya pa rin po ang dahilan kung bakit napapagpala ang mga tao sa lumang tipan sapagkat wala pong nakasunod ng kautosan. Hindi po nasunod ng mga tao ang mga kautosan. Kaya nga po ang conclusion po ng Bible is that no one is righteous, no not one. All are fall short to the glory of God. Pag sinabi mong fall short to the glory of God, meaning yung pong pamantayan ng Diyos, hindi po naabot ng tao. Yung pong kabanalan ng kautusan ay hindi po naabot ng tao. Ang kautusan po ay pamantayan ng Diyos para makita kung ang tao ba ay kwalipikado, ang tao ba ay uh, uh, pasado doon sa standard ni Lord. Kaya lang, all people are fall short. They are all sinners. They are... So napatunayan ng kautusan ng lahat ng tao maging ang mga Israelita na pinagbigyan ng kautusan ay pare-parehas na makasalanan. There is no difference. But praise God because God is a good God. God is a loving God. Again, nagbigay po siya ng bagong covenant. Yan pong dahilan kung bakit ng ating Bible ay meron pong tinatawag na new covenant. New covenant. And this new covenant is a covenant of promise. A promise that God says, I will. I will. I will. Ang Diyos ang gagawa. Now, ito pong tatlong ito, no? Meron pong ano, uh, in this new covenant, God says that He will do three things for us. Una po na sinabi ng Panginoon, I will put my laws in their mind 
and write them on their hearts. Ano po ang ibig sabihin nito? Ang ibig sabihin, it is the Lord who leads us. Siya po ang gagabay sa atin. Siya po ang sasama sa atin and that is the reason why the Lord gave unto us the permanent dwelling of the Holy Spirit. That is the reason why the Holy Spirit resides in us so that you can talk to Him anytime, any moment. In times that you don't know what to do, you can talk to Him. He's always ready to listen. Never, ever, ever that the Holy Spirit Spirit is so busy that He has no time for you to listen. Meron po siyang time na makinig sa you all the time. Hindi katulad po ng mga kasama natin sa bahay o sino mang kaibigang kakilala natin minsan busy, meron pong inaatupag na iba. O minsan yung asawa mo gusto mong kausapin, pagod, o di kaya tulog, o di kaya nagpapahinga, o di kaya wala sa mood. But the Holy Spirit is always available, my friend. In times of your loneliness, in times of your depression, in times that you are bothered with the things of this world, there is a comforter always available. There is a teacher for you, for, for your guidance. Meaning, I will put my laws in their mind and write them on their hearts, meaning the Lord is always leading us. Siya ang naglalagay. Siya ang nag-guide. He is leading us in this new covenant, my friend. At alam po ninyo, meron pong uh, batas ng uh, pag-guides po sa atin ng Diyos. There are laws of, you know, na ginagamit ng Panginoon. Alam niyo kung ano tong uh, mga ito? It is the law of faith. The law of faith. Pag sinabi po natin, uh, the Lord is guiding us in faith, Meaning, kapag sinabi ng Bible, nakasulat po yan dyan, paniwalaan mo yan. The Lord will make alive into your heart that promise of God into your heart. Have faith on it. Pag sinabi ni Lord, nabasa mo sa Bible, the Lord will supply all your needs. When you support the ministry, when you support the missions of the, of the men of God, kasi yung pong nakasulat po dun sa Uh, Philippians that the Lord and my God will supply all your needs ay dun po ang sinasabihan ay mga tao po na sumusuporta sa mga mission ni Pablo sila na nagbibigay sa mga mission ni Pablo at uh, nakikisa sa mission ni Pablo sa pagpapahayag ng mabuting balita at dahil sila po ay nagtiwala ng uh, Uh, pagbibigay na alam nila na ito ay uh, patuloy na palaguin ng Diyos ang kanila pong uh, ginagawa sinabi po ni Pablo binigyan po niya ng assurance that my God will supply all your needs so ganun din po sa mga sumusuporta po sa ministeryong ito ang mga nagbibigay ng mga mga panalangin at nagbibigay ng mga stars nagbibigay ng kanilang love support nagpapadala you know who you are again and again The Lord will supply all your needs. Not according to the riches of your our country, not to, according to the riches of, uh, of your uh, any resources, but according to the riches of His glory. The Lord will use many means and ways. So faith, the law of faith, the Lord is guiding us in faith. And also, number two is love. The Lord is guiding us in love. Ang pag-ibig po, kapag ang taong umiibig ay hindi po lugi. Hindi po lugi ang taong umiibig. Ang, you are always in the winning side if you are living in love. Pag-isulat nga po ninyo dyan, walang pagkalugi sa mga umiibig. You are always in the winning side, my friend, if you are living in love. So, The Lord is guiding us in love, the spirit of love, and even in liberty. Liberty to guide you in everything you do. Ayan nga po, tayo po'y malaya. Walang kabigatan. Kapag may kabigatan ang isang gagawin mo, kapatid, wag na wag mong gagawin. Because ang kabigatan ay hindi galing sa Diyos. Peace, joy comes from the Lord. 
If there's no peace in what you're doing, if there's heaviness in what you're doing, then you have to stop it or slow down. The Lord is leading us. Kaya nung sinabi ni Lord na I will put my laws in their mind and write them on their hearts, meaning the Lord is guiding us in faith, the Lord is guiding us in love, and the Lord giving us liberty to do okay, what is good. It is a spontaneous, dynamic, active, and intimate way to be led by God. Ganyan po ang pag-guide sa atin ng Panginoon. Kaya nga po, talk all the time to the Holy Spirit. At hindi lamang yung ikaw nagsasalita sa Holy Spirit, you need to have time to listen to Him. Kaya mga kapatid, tayo pong mga nasa biyaya o mensahe po ng biyaya, ay... The more that you know what the Lord has done for you, the more that you understand what the Lord has done for you, the more that you take time and give time to listen to the Holy Spirit, the more that you spend time communing with Him, the more that you enjoy fellowshipping with Him, the more that you enjoy pouring out love with Him. Nag-spend nag, nag, nag time ka kay Lord. The more that you understand what the Lord has done for you at the cross of Calvary, mga kapatid, napakasarap pong i-meditate. Napakasarap pong pagnilay-nilayan. Nasarap pong, napakasarap pong isip-isipin. At ating pong meditate ang ginawa ni Kristo dun sa cross ng Calvaryo. The more you meditate what the Lord has done for you, the more the Holy Spirit will make it alive into your heart, the reality of all God's promises. And dito po tayo nagkakaroon ng mas matinding passion to reach out the laws, the passion to love people, the passion to demonstrate the love of God to all people. The Lord is leading us. Ito po ang pangako ng Diyos, hindi katulad po ng mga sa lumang tipan na napipili lamang po yung mga pinapanahanan o kinakausap ng Lord. At hindi po nagduduel ang Holy Spirit sa isang tao dun sa lumang tipan. Pero sa ating pong kapanahonan in this new covenant that we are in, my friend, every believer, the Lord is pouring out His Spirit upon all flesh. So if you are a believer, glory to God, the Lord is personally leading you, the Lord is personally talking to you, the Lord is personally guiding you, the Lord is personally giving giving you wisdom and direction and the Lord is personally giving you bright, brilliant ideas in everything you do and even in your business, the Lord is guiding you. I will put my laws in their mind and write them on their hearts. Glory to God. So that's the number one. Yan pong ibig sabihin ng I will. I will be the leader. I will be their personal guidance. I will, I will, I will, I will teach them what to do. At ito po, number two. This is number two. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Ang praise po na I will be their God denotes a miracle working God. So God will do, will work miracles for us. I will be their God and they shall be my people. You have to expect miracles if you understand that He is your God. Your God is a miracle working God. Your God can do all things and nothing is impossible with Him. Can you write it down, my friend? My God is a miracle working God. Come on. Say it with faith. Say it out loud. Write it down. My God is a miracle working God. Ano na ito pangako niya? I will be their God. He is your personal God. He is your personal protector. He is your personal provider. He is your personal healer. That is the meaning that I will be their God and they shall be my people. You are God's people, my friend. So if you are sick and God says, I will be your God, get ready for your healing. 
Hallelujah. If you are poor and God says, I will be your God, get ready for prosperity. If you are broke or if you are in a deepest moment or situation of life, if you are in a heaviness, pag sinabi ni Lord, I will be your God, then get ready for your deliverance. Get ready for the joy. Get ready for the bright ideas. Get ready for the wisdom. Get ready for God is opening a door of opportunities for you, my friend. I will be their God. Hallelujah. Could you imagine nung nagpakilala po ang Diyos sa Israel? Mula po doon sa pagkaalipin sa Egypto, Imposible na sila po'y makalaya sa kamay ni Paraon. But because I am your God, sinabi ni Lord kay Moses, I am your God. Then, walang makapangyarihang hari na po pwedeng pumigil sa plano ng Diyos sa mga Israelita. Pag sinabi ng Diyos, dadaling kita sa promised land at dyan mabubuhay kayo na mayroong kaunlaran, mabubuhay kayo na walang pwedeng makasaling sa inyo kung anong sinabi ng Diyos, mangyari siya. Nag, nagmatigas po ang Egypto, nagmatigas po ang paraon, pero wala po silang magawa nung ang Diyos po ang kumilos. I will be your God. I am your God. Kapatid, if the Lord is your God, hallelujah, get ready to receive your miracles. Whatever situation that you are in right now, do you have problem in your business? Do you have problem in your families? Do you have problem in your finances? Do you have problem in your uh, health? Do you have problem in your community? Do you have problem in the station? He is the God of this nation. He is your God. And if you acknowledge that He is your God, know that this God who created the heavens and the earth is a miracle-working God. It shall be, it will be, it will take place in your life. Receive it right now. Receive the miracle. I am your God, says the Lord. Oh, glory to God. He is my God. Get ready, my friend, for your breakthrough. Woo, hallelujah! I can feel the power. I can feel the joy. I can feel the goodness of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Ano po yung una? He will going to lead us because the Lord says, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. And number two, he will do miracles in our lives because God says, I will be their God. And the number three is this. I all shall know me from the least of them to the greatest of them. Lahat daw makikilala natin ang Diyos. Ano po ibig sabihin nito? Personally, ang Diyos magpapakilala po sa atin sa ating pong intimacy with Him. Ang Greek word po ng uh, no dito po ay eido na ibig sabihin po ay intuitively without effort. Walang ka-effort, effort ipapakilala ng Diyos, irereveal ng Diyos ang kanyang sarili sa iyo. This means that you will know God easily, my friend. Oh, hallelujah. It will cause us to know him effortlessly. Just Tune in your mind to Him. You shall know Him. At tayo po na nakakilala sa Diyos, tayo po na tumanggap sa Panginoon, hindi tayo tuturuan ng iba bagkos ang magtuturo personally sa atin ay ang Panginoon because the Lord will going to reveal unto us Himself. Alam nyo ba, ang tao kapag na-reveal sa Kanya ang Diyos, nakilala niya ang Diyos, Naintindihan niya kung sino yung Diyos na kanyang sinasampalatayanan. Naintindihan mo kung sino yung Diyos na tinanggap mo, kapatid, na nabubuhay sa iyo. Oh, glory to God. Yan ay higit sa ginto, jamante o ano ng yaman, higit sa anumang talino ng mundo. That is 
more than riches. Kaya nga po nung tinawag ng Diyos si Abraham, hindi siya pinangakuan ng bibigyan kita ng maraming ginto, Abraham, bilang reward mo. Bibigyan kita ng maraming diamante, Abraham, para hindi ka na maghirap bilang reward mo. Bibigyan kita, Abraham, ng maraming kawan, Abraham. Hindi ho. Ang sabi po ng Lord kay Abraham, I am your great reward, Abraham. <laughs> I am your great reward, Abraham. Kapatid, Sister MJ Lisel, the Lord is saying to you, I am your great reward, MJ Lisel. Mari Cardibera, the Lord is saying to you, I am your great reward, Mari Cardibera. Mary Mangibhen, the Lord is saying to you, I am your great reward. Sister Kabekati, the Lord is saying to you, I am your great reward. Sister Mina Babaran, the Lord is saying to you, I am your great reward. If the Lord is your great reward, kapatid, you must now rejoice. Tumalun ka sa tuwa. Why? God is your great reward. It is more than diamond, more than gold, more than the riches of this world. You have all the riches of heaven and earth if the Lord is your great reward, my friend. Oh, hallelujah. So do you want to experience these blessings in your life today? This is what God promised in this new covenant. It is a promise that I will. So if you want to experience all of these good things, my friend, all of these blessings in this new covenant, then you, know, you need to know the clothes that makes it happen. Ano po yung clothes ni Lord? Ano po yung, yung sinabi ni Lord? Ano po yung magkukwalipay upang ang lahat ng ito ay mangyari at maganap sa buhay natin? Yun pong sinabi ni Lord dun sa verse 12, I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. Hallelujah! Ito pong salitang ito, pangakong ito ng Panginoon, yan po ang magkukwalipay sa atin upang tayo po ay mailid ni Lord, upang tayo po ay uh, makaranas ng himala ng Panginoon, at upang tayo po ay makakilala ng gusto sa Diyos personally, intimately. I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. Ibig sabihin, tinanggal na ng Diyos ang kasalanan dito po sa bagong tipan at yan ang dahilan kung bakit tayo na ililid ni Lord. At yan ang dahilan kung bakit sinabi ni Lord na ako ang Diyos ninyo at kayo ay aking mga tao, kayo ay aking mga anak at ipapakilala ko ang aking sarili sa inyo. Bakit po magagawa ang lahat ng ito? Ano pong pinakasusi? Tinanggal na ng Diyos ang kasalanan sa atin. Sapagkat ang kasalanan ang naghihiwalay sa tao at sa Diyos. Ang kasalanan ang humaharang ng paglapit ng tao sa Diyos. At ang kasalanan din ang dahilan kung bakit itinatalikod ng Diyos ang kanyang mukha sa mga tao. Pero dito po sa bagong tipan, Ito po yung pangako ng Diyos na napakaganda. I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds. I will remember no more. Bakit? Tinanggal na ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng sakripisyo ng ating Panginoong Isokristo doon sa cross ng Kalbaryo. Your sins has been taken away and that is the reason why that the Lord is now residing in us, dwelling in us, permanently dwelling in us so that He can lead you and He can do miracles in your life and He can reveal Himself unto you, my friend. Alam niyo ba yung word po na no more dito? The word no more in Greek is carry a strong double negative sense. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Nung sinabi ni Lord na I will remember your sins no more, meaning I will never by no means remember your sins. Kasi nga, double negative sense. I will never by no means remember your sins. Sa anumang paraan, hindi na muling alalahanin ng Diyos ang iyong mga kasalanan. Hallelujah! Let's rejoice for that. Glory to God! Ang kapitbahay mo, asawa mo, magulang mo, kapatid mo, anak mo, minsan di nila makalimutan ang kasalanan mo. No? 
Kahit napakatagal na, pinapaalala pa rin. Pero ang Diyos po, hindi na niya ipapaalala ang kasalanan mo. Ang ipapaalala niya, anak ka niya. Ang ipapaalala niya, mahal ka niya. Ang ipapaalala niya, meron siyang magandang plano para sa'yo. Ang ipapaalala niya, you have a very good future on him. Ang ipapaalala ng Diyos sa'yo, siya'y tapat sa kanyang mga pangako. That is the promise of God at yan ang ipapaalala ng Diyos sa'yo. Kapatid, the more you believe this in your heart, the more you will see those blessings fulfilled in your life. When you realize how much God has forgiven you and remember your sins no more, you will know Him, His ways, and His will for you intimately and intuitively without effort, my friend. Oh, glory to God. Kaya the more you believe this wonderful truth in your heart, the more that you will see those blessings fulfilled in your life. My friend, kaya po, you have to believe in your heart today the close, close on which all these blessings hing. Ano po yon? I will remember your sins no more. And then you have to get ready for miracles and hopes fulfilled in the days ahead. Can you write it down? Can you shout it out? I am ready to receive my miracle. I am ready to receive my supernatural favor. I am ready to testify the goodness of the Lord. Come on, shout it out. Hallelujah. You are ready. Why? Because when you realize that God remember your sins no more, you will know Him, His ways and His will for you, intimately and intuitively, so be it unto you, I declare this in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. I seal the victory in your life. I seal the favor of God in your life. I seal God's miracle to take place in your life. The Lord is leading you. Enjoy fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Always talk to Him. Give time. Sit down. Stand. Be still and listen to the Lord. Have fellowship. Enjoy moment with the Lord, my friend. You and God alone. And I tell you, the Lord is revealing Himself to you. And the more you understand how much He loves you, the more you understand what He has done for you, the more that the Holy Spirit sink into your heart, my friend, the more that you can stand strong you can have that overflowing peace in your heart it shall come to you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah amen and amen